Alrighty, here we go. About to finish this loyalty quest up. Yeah, Vito's dialogue actually changes here depending on whether you chose to save the workers or not. He actually chose to save the workers. His dialogue is much more confident, like he's really in charge of what's going on because he knows he's going to get away. Flamethrower guy. Charming. Burning me for you. I'm gonna switch to the heavy gear. Alright, well I think that's pretty much everybody. Hope you like what we just did because that's most of what this game is. Shooting at color-coded mercenary bands that don't really have anything to do with the main plot. Yeah. That's it. Anyway, to the end. Years ago. Look at you. I did you a favor. Zaid, please. I'm gonna die here, man. Do something. Try you. Like you shot this guy in the head, and then you're gonna ask him to do something? Like, what's with that? That just sounded kind of weird. Oh, I really like this guy now. I know Zaid takes a lot of flack from um, the general Mass Effect fan base, but I actually like this character despite being pretty shallow and tacked on as a DLC character. I think he's actually kind of cool. Even though he does feel pretty out of place with the rest of the cast, as I stated earlier. But yeah, that's the end of the quest. Sacrifice the lives of hundreds, if not a thousand workers, just so Zaid can get revenge. What a brilliant taste of the ridiculous morality system that is present in this game and this is definitely not the last time that will happen alrighty back on the Normandy Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Alrighty, let's just go check in on Joker, or... Hadley, I heard about Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? He's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back. 
and make sure the collectors pay for Yeah, that's how they remind us that the collectors are actually still the enemy. I mean, we don't see them but like three times in the whole story, but they constantly remind us like, well, the collectors are off doing this and that, you know, things that we never see. I uh, guess that works. I don't know. Primary anyway. system's clear. Commander. I assume everything's going well up here? It was until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come All around. right, well, that doesn't really sound too bad, actually. Harmless self-promotion. Edie can ease off on that. Very well, Shepard. Yeah, go pout. I win. Joker. Right, right. No hard feelings. Good game. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Alrighty. Let's see. I'm gonna knock out both of the DLC characters' loyalty quests before I move on with the next actual recruitment mission. Honestly, I said before, this expending fuel thing is kind of pointless, especially if you import a character from Mass Effect 1 into this game, you're going to have tons of credits. I mean, what is the point of making us have to refuel our ships? I mean, that's just annoying. I mean, it really isn't like there's any huge consequence to it. It just seems tedious. How about have our ship get boarded by pirates or something if we run out of fuel? Have there be a real consequence, not just have it like, well, we have to spend X amount of resources to get to the next refueling station. I mean, that's kind of lame, actually. But I digress. Alright, now we get to see Kasumi Goto's loyalty quest. Shepard wearing a dress. Now, somehow that seems a bit awkward. I don't know why. Take it I'm wearing this get-up for a reason? You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? You look great. You should wear this stuff more often. Now is probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend, Hawk, is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend, Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a side arm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. And then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's scrape box. And I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. Alright, well, I guess if Shepard's gonna wear a dress, it better be worth it. <laughs> What's in the gray box that makes it worth all this trouble? The gray box holds Keiji's memories. Everything from all the codes and plans he stole to... all the time we spent together. Wrapped up in those memories is the secret he stole. Keiji never told me what it was, but the information got him killed. 
This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. This is our stop. After you, Ms. Gunn. Hold a moment, ma'am. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Is there a problem here? Yeah. No, Mr. Hawk. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we've met. Donovan nice Hawk. beard. How you doing? Allison Gunn. A pleasure. Wow, what a jerk. Sir, the scanners aren't picking anything up. Hmm. Don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble, do you? You may pass through, Miss Gunn. You were invited after all, but I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand? Yeah, well, whatever. Doesn't really matter. If it makes you feel more secure, she can wait outside. Good to see we're not going to have a problem. Enjoy the party. Well, that didn't go as I expected. Well, pretty much like every other mission in this game, I can do with this alone. Don't worry about it. I can handle it from here. That's good. Because you'll have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. We need to find the door and case the security. We'll figure out the next step then. All right, let's get to it. How did you ever contain that situation? What's your read on that Archangel guy? He's making it too expensive to do business on Omega. Do I hear some mercs? I love how nobody it. gives a second look to a woman walk walking around with glowing cracks in her face. Very nice. There's more here than I expected. And Terminator eyes, too. Password protected voice lock, kinetic barrier, DNA scanner. Looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. Is this gonna be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password too. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it. KG could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get well, to it. I feel like playing the Mission Impossible theme right here. It looks like the barrier's power cable runs under the floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. Yeah, and this part basically just revolves around um, getting the pieces you need to disarm the uh, protection on the vault. You need a voice sample from Hawk, so let's go get that. Enough for me to get a voice print. Pull out the charm on this one, Shep. All right, Whenever let's do it. Ready. After you, Miss Gunn. Good to see you. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening. I hope. All right, let's persuade him using Renegade. There's always someone gunning for people like you and me. <laughs> yes, that's true. I'm glad you understand. Frankly, I'm surprised your security isn't tighter. It's a ballsy move opening your front door like this. Yes, I suppose it is. Hopefully it sends the message that I don't fear anyone stupid enough to step up to me. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. I only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me, and you, are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. This party is for us. 
the cleaners, the support structure for the galaxy's gleeful delusions of peace. May there always be a market for yep, things that That's a do. crime lord, all right. I said get him talking, and you got him talking. We've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. Right. Enjoy the party, Miss Gunn. Once we find the password, we can get Alrighty, this will be resumed in the next part. See you guys.